Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for the 28th till the 4th of October. I hope you enjoyed your week last week and I hope you enjoyed your love reading. I'm using the Pagan Way and the Everyday Witch because of the theme Halloween. We're going into Halloween and we're, we've got two moons. We've just come into Libra, so um, the energy has changed and it's a much calmer energy than Virgo and Leo. And you can see this back in the readings. We've got two moons on the 1st and 31st, so when there are two moons, there is a blue moon. I'm using also the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck and the Angel Feather deck. Let's get started with your beautiful reading. You start off with a great card and you've got the Six of Wands. And yes, you've got victory. You've got public recognition. You've got recognition from your family or friends, but also from the public. You're the champion. You are moving on and upwards. You might be getting a car if you've had your eye on a car or a vehicle with wheels. You might be moving home or you might be going on holiday. So that is awesome. I'm sorry if I sound as if I've got a cold. I've had a, I've, I've got allergies, sorry. Then we have the Two of Cups. You're emotionally in balance. You might have met your soulmate. And I love this card. Look at that sun shining on you. It looks like you are in the spotlight. And I love the two cats. And one is offering the other cat a fish. I hope you can see that. These are quite humoristic cards. But nevertheless, that doesn't take away the meaning. But sometimes you see more in other decks than in, for example, another deck. But I see two happy people here. So you might be meeting your soulmate or have met your soulmate because you've got victory. So you are happy. You're definitely emotionally in balance. And talking about balance, we've got two justice cards lying on top of each other. So I think you are really happy. And the Justice card means you are in balance. And if you're not in balance, then you will be in balance today or this week. Look at that angel feather. You're weighing most probably things up because you're you are in a good place. And the Justice card also represents Libra. So look at this. And in this card, like I say, in every deck is different. In this deck, she's wounded or she's uh, blindfolded, so you've not been able to see something in uh, in the correct perspective. And now you are, because justice will be done if you are in a judicial situation, or if you're weighing things up, you didn't see the right way perhaps and you got more information as she's got a book so perhaps she she got more information perhaps asked for more information by a professional a lawyer or anybody else in an institution or a municipality and um, got the right uh, information to make things clear so that you're back in balance definitely. This could also mean that if you have met up and you've been going out steadily that you might be getting married. Um, the justice is a municipality or an institution like I said. So you could be getting married or as it also represents the um, uh, the registry office. Wow, this is just a powerful reading. Anyway, it can also mean that you're coming together, going up to the next level. Then we have the star. And the star means you've navigated your way to where you want to be. But it could also mean you, your wish or your goal is coming true. 
and the star represents Aquarius. So you have literally a lot of air signs in your reading. You could be meeting a, a Libra or an Aquarius if you're not hooked up. You could have had words with this um, Libra or Aries. And like I said, justice is done. You get what you deserve and they get what they deserve. Because we've got the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands for me has definitely got a meaning of competition. If you look at the, the traditional uh, deck from uh, Raya Waite, then you see young men joisting, fighting with sticks, but it's not really a real fight, not like the Five of Swords. This is competition, but there could be sh arguments or disagreements, but they're short-lived, and your wish is coming true, and you don't want to argue, but you want justice, you want clarity, and it could be about money. Well, money is coming towards you, as you have the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles means wealth and luxury. And here in this deck, you see two people <coughs> very happy and coming together. So it could be that you've met a, a you've met somebody that you uh, that is a business partner, not a romantic partner and you've joined forces and you're bringing in the money you're gaining wow there's an end to difficulties there's an end to a face and you're going into a new phase you're going on a new journey this could be with a partner because this uh, the, it is suggesting partnering up balancing two 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 and it's like the two of the, the two scales two people again two people here and you might be going on a journey and this is a journey or buying a house moving in you've got the eight of cups you want excitement you want adventure perhaps you're going to do this adventure not alone but with uh, somebody else perhaps that's what you're waiting for that you before you took off on your travels like I said, you wanted something new, you wanted adventure. Well, you've got it. The end is here of being alone. The, the end is here of doing things on your own. You're going to have adventure and excitement on this new journey. Well done. From the uh, Queen of, uh, of the Moon Oracle deck, you have Thunder Moon. That's beautiful and it's like electrifying that is what I see from this card electrifying so this partnership will be electrifying exciting just like the eight of cups you want excitement changes on its way so embrace it <coughs> excuse me accept change life like the seasons is about change Take advantage of change and an advantage of change energy. Plan ahead. Well, if you plan and you're constructive about planning, you will stay in balance. But embrace the change. New stuff is coming your way. And we've got the fuchsia angel feather. That's Barbie pink. New lifestyle or a home. Like I said, moving moving home or a new lifestyle partnering up with somebody um, you've got the justice you've got the money you've got the legalities perhaps you might need a license to start a business or you're partnering up boom boom and this is magic new lifestyle or a home the angels would like to inform you that it is time to commence preparations for a change in lifestyle or residence now we've got change so this is a big change whether it's a lifestyle or a home magic wow and uh, there was another card that I wanted to give you as well hold on and just to top it all we've got the angel feather and it says ask your angels beautiful thank you angels 
and thank you for the beautiful message. I hope it resonates with you. Take care, my darlings, and have a wonderful week.